Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how you can create your own REC test private blockchain for testing and playing with the Lightning Network. This video is meant for educational purposes only and it does assume some basic understanding on how Bitcoin works, how um, to work with Docker, Docker Compose, and some general tech savviness. By the end of this video, you should have a stack that looks like this. Two Bitcoin node and two Lightning Network node. Each node sits in its own Docker container and the Bitcoin uh, nodes are connected to each other and together they are forming our private blockchain. Each node represents one user in our system. On the left side, we got Alice and over here on the right side, this is for Bob. And each node will also be connected to its own Lightning Network node so that we can also look at this diagram um, and we can see those two main components for Alice and for Bob. And those two components, each one sits on its own machine. Basically, Alice will have its own machine and Bob will have its own machine. Each machine with its own uh, Bitcoin D daemon running in the background and the Lightning Network daemon also running at the uh, background. And what makes this uh, architecture very useful is the fact that A, we can very easily um, expand this architecture. It is very easy to add new player to our architecture. I can add another third player or fourth player, another five different players and so on. And also, it will be very easy for us to see what happens when one of those components fail. What happens when Bob goes on offline? What happens when uh, the Lightning Network node goes offline and so on? So let's start by creating this environment. And the first thing that I'm going to do is to declare my Docker Compose file. And I am using Docker Compose version 3. I'm going to have a service section, a network section, and a volume section. Over here, I'm going to declare all of the volumes that I will use in my um, environment. And we can see from the diagram that I have those four volumes. For Alice, Bitcoin D, and for Alice, Lightning Network, as well as for Bob, Bitcoin D, and for Bob, uh, Lightning Network. So I'm just going to declare those volumes. And now back to the services. And I'm going to create the Bitcoin D services for Alice and for Bob, Bob Bitcoin D over here. I'm going to start by creating two Bitcoin D nodes. I'm using Docker Compose. One node will be for Alice and the second node will be for Bob. And just as in the diagram, I'm going to keep Alice on the left side of the screen and Bob should be on the right side of the screen. Now I want the container name and the service name to be similar. I want both of those services to restart automatically. And I want to get the image uh, file for both of those services from the BTC Pay Server Docker Hub. And I'm going to use Bitcoin version 18. Now I'm going to expose some ports. And I want to use different ports number in each service mostly to make it easier for me to identify those services later on. It will be easier for me, for example, um, whenever I see communication routed via port 8335 to know that it comes from the Alice RPC port. So this is why I'm going to make sure that my port number won't be reused in different services. And the port numbers that I will use are ports 393, 89 and 8. 335 for Alice and ports 39388 and port 8336 for Bob. We can also see that each port is used for a different task. We can see that some ports are used for the RPC communication while other ports are used for communicating between the different Bitcoin node uh, services themselves. And we can also see the ways that those different ports are being um, configured or binded in our configuration file over here at the bottom. 
Okay, so now it is time to move on. And this is the environment variable section. And the first environment variable that I'm going to set will be the network that I will use. And I'm using a unique testing network, which is the REC test uh, blockchain. And using this network, I will be able to manipulate the blockchain in ways that are not accessible to me any other way. I can, for example, limit the amount of users who can participate in my blockchain. I can create 100 blocks in one second, or maybe create one block every five hours, um, and so on. And with these tools, it will be easier for me to understand and to show you how the Lightning Network works. So, REC test. Moving on, this is the extra argument. And the arguments in this section will be passed to the Bitcoin config file. And the most important thing that I need to do in this Bitcoin config file is to make sure that the ports are properly binded. For example, the RPC port should be bind to the um, 0000 IP address for incoming connections. And I also want to make sure that both nodes can speak to each other. So I'm going to add a node for Alice and add a node for Bob and make sure that Alice can communicate with Bob and that Bob can communicate with Alice's node. And of course, don't forget that each uh, Bitcoin node has its own unique port open. So yeah, don't forget the ports. And finally, I should mount the volume to the respective services. Both should be mounted to the slash data folder. And there we have it. I have the Bitcoin D services, both for Alice and for Bob. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the Lightning Network node. And just as before, Alice would be on the left side and Bob will be on the right side. The container name and the service name should be similar. And the image for both services should be the Lightning D image from the Elements Project Docker Hub. Now the command section will provide our service with the following runtime arguments. First, it should be connected to RPC with the corresponding connection. Alice should connect to our own um, Bitcoin D node and Bob should also connect to his own Bitcoin D node. And of course, don't forget, each node has a different port number. Next, I'm going to specify the network type which is the REC test uh, network. The alias name will make it easier to me to identify which node I'm working with. And the login level will be used for further uh, debugging whenever necessary. Now I'm going to specify the connection type and it should be TCP. And there are many ways to configure uh, networking for our Lightning Network nodes but TCP is basically the most easy to work with and we want to keep this tutorial as simple as possible. So I'm just going to stick uh, with TCP. And again, I'm going to expose two different ports, port 9735 and port 9736. And I'm not going to bind this port to any services yet, but again, it is a good practice to have. Make sure that you are using different port numbers for different services. Now, just as before, I need to mount my volumes. And finally, I'm going to link each Lightning uh, Network node to its respective Bitcoin node. So Alice should be connected to Alice and Bob should be connected, of course, to Bob. And there we have it. Two Lightning Network nodes and two Bitcoin D nodes. All are using the REC test um, testing environment. All are properly connected, just as we saw in the diagram. Now let's just make sure that everything works properly. In the terminal, I'm just going to do docker compose up. And there we have it. This is, yeah, no errors, no errors. This is basically our um, working environment. We will use this environment in order to explore and to test the Lightning Network. And that's it. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.